Okay, welcome everybody to another lesson in mathematics and art connections. Uh, today we're going to be exploring how to make uh, the daisy design that you see on your screen. Uh, one of the things you notice about this uh, design is it has a lot of symmetry, a lot of beauty, but it's not quite clear how uh, it is created. You may want to take a few minutes to explore on your own uh, uh, to have some ideas how you might be able to construct this. Uh, you probably can see a lot of circles, but how exactly they come together might be a little bit of a surprise. Okay, uh, so again, you're going to need a geometry sketch pad, uh, specifically version 5.0 uh, is what we are using here or higher. Um, so I would like to have you open a new sketch. I'm going to open uh, in my uh, file a document options, a blank page. Uh, so that uh, we can start working. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to start with a circle which is going to be what I call our guiding circle. And the principle here is to use the circle to distribute evenly around this circumference uh, a certain number of uh, evenly spaced points. In this case uh, I want to have 18 of them, so that uh, that means 360 degrees divided by 18. I need 20 degree separation. So the way I do that is I double click on the center, and again, uh, you could do this by transform menu, transform mark center. You'll do this boink thing again. And then you select this point on the circle's uh, circumference, and you rotate it by 20 degrees. Uh, you could continue doing this uh, repeatedly until you feel the whole circuit is populated by uh, these evenly spaced uh, points. But I want to show you uh, another better method. So I'm going to just delete this last point we created. Once you select your original point and the transform point, you can go to transform menu and again define custom transformation. And what I want to do is I want to call my constant transformation 20 degree uh, rotation. And what it will do is it will understand that the center of rotation is this center of the circle. Uh, and what you can do is you could now apply your transformation. And in my menu it says Apple 1 again is my shortcut. Uh, you could keep doing this. So I'm going to actually just select this and do Apple 1. And you notice the whole circle is immediately populated. Now at this point, we're going to sort of be like a magician. We're going to create a hide and show button. So when we are done, nobody understands. Nobody who's viewing this understands how we created this. This is kind of the magic of good design. You have to hide things. So what you do is you select everything you've created so far. Go to Edit Menu, Action, Buttons, Hide and Show. Always a good idea to test. Yeah, it is working. Now the idea is uh, actually quite simple from this point on. You're going to take your circle tool and from a point on the circumference, you're going to start and end at the center of the original circle. So you can keep, keep doing this. And it's kind of fun to see this being built uh, one by one. But after a while, it becomes tedious and confusing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to quickly show you a better way to do this. Because uh, I'm going to do Edit Undo, Control z or Apple Z. Uh, because we already have a Rotate by 20 degree tool, you can actually select the, the circle around the circumference that you just created and apply uh, your 20 degree rotation. And I'm going to just keep pressing Apple, uh, let me just do it one more time so you can see. I'm going to press Apple 1 or Control 1. And you're going to notice it is going to populate uh, immediately. And everything is ready. So here it is. Uh, but that central thing we created gives it away. But we have a hide show button for that. When we hide that, boom, the whole thing is gone. Uh, before I show and hide, uh, again, uh, what I would like to do is I'll, I'd like to make a tool out of this uh, 
so that I can use it as a tool. Last time, remember, we had a lot of fun uh, using tools. So we go to custom tools, create new tools. I'm going to call this the uh, daisy. And uh, in a minute, we'll be able to hide. Yeah, we'll be able to apply this. Uh, you could decide all kinds of things. Uh, you could say, well, I want my color to be, let's do a different color than we did last time. Maybe let's have it red. You could decide, oh, it's, it'll look much cooler if it was thinner. And again, you can adjust the uh, background color you may remember from um, the Edit Preferences menu. And when you go to the background, again, I kind of feel always uh, the black background uh, shows the best of the work. But here it is. Uh, pretty cool. Uh, you could also write things with the text tool here. So here we could call this the daisy. Uh, you could color your text uh, in a very similar fashion to what you normally do uh, in other editing programs. So maybe let's have everything red. So here we go. Here's your daisy. You could impress people. Uh, let me show you one last thing before we part. Uh, if you go to File Document Options and you can open a blank page, uh, what you can now do if you go to your custom tools, you're going to see your daisy tool and it looks something like this. You could always test it. But now the beauty of this is you could now say, you know what? I want to now do another version of this like that. And then, believe it or not, you could do things uh, like repeating this process. So let me just get my bearings here. Um, so I'm going to go from here to there, but then I want to go from here to there. So you can see how this incredible complexity can start uh, building uh, very soon. And uh, you might get fancy and say, I want to select all the points and uh, actually permanently hide them. You could again say, I'm going to select everything, make them thinner. Uh, you could decide to make the color. Let's give it a different color this time. Let's make it this cool blue color. And then you make the background black, I think it will look really nice. Okay, so you could uh, have a lot of fun studying the variations. Look at that. That's pretty impressive. All righty, I hope you had a good time. Uh, again, if you come up with some exciting variations, please uh, send me the information, links or actual documents. I would love to see your work. Take good care. Bye.